And now it's time for Khan's Corner right here on Hybrid Pro Wrestling. Four wheeler. Yeah, you're big, you're strong, but you're not as big and strong or sexy as Khan is. Now I destroyed you tonight. All those people seen it. So I want a title shot for CJ Otis. See that belt would look much gorgeous around this waist than his. But that's only a matter of time before I get that belt. But all you people who watch HPW, better beware, because you will feel the wrath of Khan. This is a preview of the upcoming television title tournament happening Friday, August 4th at the Ken Crum Center in Schoolcraft. Two of the top young junior heavyweights in the Midwest, Trick Davis versus Josh Abercrombie. These two have met in several other promotions, and while Josh is well known here in HPW, Trick is just starting to make his presence felt, much to the disdain of many crowd members. Ready? 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 Ring the bell! The bell finally sounds, and this one is underway. Plenty of excitement for this match. These two men square off. Abercrombie hooks the wrist out of a lockup. Controlling trick on the mat with a head scissors. Both men are very adept mat wrestlers as well as high flyers when the situation calls for it. Trick picks the ankle as Abercrombie looks to regain control. A little world of sport action as Abercrombie cinches in the headlock. Takedown on the mat as Abercrombie wrenches it in. Pinfall situation that Trick is wisely avoiding. Ah, see, you play your little fans. That's what happens, Josh Abercrombie. Trick expounds his philosophical differences as he moves into the standing wrist lock. Abercrombie reverses into a headlock, into a wrist lock, and now into the full Nelson. Chain wrestling at its purest. Vipasso. Abercrombie catches Trick off guard with an elbow, sending him to the outside. Trick catches his breath. And Abercrombie takes it away with a big tope through the ropes. Come on! Yeah! Up close and personal with these fans. I said, come on! Yeah! Oh, oh. Oh, 
Josh cleans up the mess he made and sends Trick back inside. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Trick now thinking twice about his actions, but Abercrombie fires away regardless. Trick reverses out of the whip and connects with a roaring elbow. Takes Abercrombie off his feet to the mat. Trick Davis with a lot to say to this crowd. Trick Davis now taking a shortcut with a choke on the ropes. These two know each other very well from their wrestling past and Trick deeming it necessary to take a few liberties with the rules. Shot to the face by Trick. Abercrombie fires back with a forearm shiver to the face. Make it a series. Trick able to anticipate and he drops Abercrombie with a hot shot and a big clothesline that folds Josh in half. Down for the cover. Only a two count on the fall. Trick waiting for his next move. Trick Davis with a rope assisted shot. Added momentum that adds to the pain upon impact. Nails Josh with two of them. Double thrust to the windpipe by Trick Davis. Trick Davis now claiming that he'll send Josh on a vision quest. Well, that wasn't a gripping four star flick. Effective though, as Josh just swings blindly for a few moments. Doesn't know how to find his opponent. Josh recognizes the distance from Trick and connects with a hard kick. Trick Davis maintains control with a snapmare into the head and neck vice. Abercrombie looking to get power from this crowd firmly behind him. Josh fights out, ducks the clothesline, but eats a leg lariat. Trick Davis showing a lot of offense, but Josh is able to continue. These two will be part of the one night eight man tournament to crown the first ever HBW TV champion for Friday, August 4th. Make sure that you don't miss this big show. Plenty of high flying to be expected, innovative mat work and hard striking like we're seeing here. All of that expected for that tournament. Josh with a step up in Zagiri leaves Trick reeling on the ropes. Back kick by Josh. And a running neck breaker. Takes him over into the pinfall. Davis able to escape the crucifix as he's still got some left in the tank. Abercrombie is fired up. Another forearm rocks Trick. Whip into the turnbuckles. Abercrombie with the charging forearm connects. Trick Davis avoids the backpack explosion. And calls for a double shooting star press. Not sure how that one's gonna work. We'll never know as Josh stops Trick up top. Joins Trick on the buckles. But Dave is not feeling up to a trip to the mat. Davis with a lucha takedown, driving Josh face first into the mat. Follows it up with double knees to the chest and face. Almost an inverted version of Josh's Taliban backpack. 
Josh still able to escape thanks to his ring awareness and Trick is visibly frustrated. Both men are looking to put up a strong showing headed into the TV title tournament. Trick with an open handed slap. Josh fires back with a series of short headbutts. Skull to skull and brains have got to be scrambled. Trick with an inside cradle. Down for the count and he gets the three. Trick Davis capitalizes for the win. Trick with the victory. Capitalizing on Abercrombie who is a bit, must be a bit dazed from those headbutts. Which may have backfired in retrospect. Trick Davis with the win, but the crowd showing appreciation for Abercrombie's efforts. We'll see these two in action once again on Friday, August 4th in Schoolcraft. Friday, August 4th, and Saturday, August 5th, Hybrid Pro Wrestling returns to action with a landmark set of shows. August 4th, we want you to join us at our new home in Schoolcraft, the Ken Crum Center, as we will hold an eight-man, one-night tournament to crown the first-ever HPW Television Champion. Four HPW regulars will take part in the tournament, as well as four outside talents looking for a spot in hybrid pro wrestling. Representing HPW will be All Night Adam Reynolds, Josh Abercrombie, Trick Davis, and Keith Cream. The other competitors a secret for now, but check our official website, hybridprowrestling.net, for names and opening round matchups before they appear here on HPW TV. On the same show, the HPW Tag Team titles will be up for grabs as current champions Popular Electronics will defend against the BNU All-American Beatdown Crew, who earned the guaranteed title shot thanks to Josh Bovato's victory at Amplified. The HPW Championship will also be on the line Friday, August 4th, 
as C.J. Otis will defend the title against the old-timer Jeff King in what is sure to be one of the most interesting matchups in hybrid pro wrestling. Nine big matches all set for Friday, August 4th at the Ken Crum Center in Schoolcraft, Michigan. Plus, on Saturday, August 5th, another big HPW event with afternoon TV tapings. Check our website, hybridprowrestling.net, for further details and come join us on August 4th and 5th with Hybrid Pro Wrestling Live. This match is not without issue, as you can already tell. Bam Morgan humiliated by his loss to Magnum Conroy at Amplified at the tail end of the gauntlet match. Bam Morgan doing his own dirty work in the early part of this match. Conroy won't budge on the Irish whip. Morgan's jaw just budged, colliding with a big boot from the big gun. Magnum takes down Morgan with a big charging clothesline. Vertical scoop by Magnum and he slams down Bam. All power out of Magnum Conroy. Bam kicks away at Magnum's knee, looking to chop down the big man. Continues the assault in the corner. Continuing with a choke in the corner as the crowd rallies behind Magnum. Bam knows that there's usually precious little time to get an offense against Conroy. He's making sure to pull out all his dirty tricks as soon as possible. The crowd remains firmly behind Magnum. Bam tries another Irish whip in vain. Magnum with the whip. Bam tries to change up the game plan, but he gets nailed with the ode to the boss man. Drop down hard to the mat. Magnum showing brute strength with the deadlift suplex. Bam dropping down to the mat to avoid the growler. He knows that move is the means to an end of a match, and while he avoided it, he's now turning into a mud hole thanks to the offense of Magnum Conroy. Magnum just pounding away once again with those sledge-like shots to the back of Bam Morgan. Sends him off the ropes, connects with a big back elbow. Magnum feeling the end is near. Hooks Bam Morgan, nails the growler, sends him down, and that is it. Magnum Conroy with another victory. Magnum Conroy simply dominating here in hybrid pro wrestling. That should send a message to Harker Dirge, who confronted Magnum last week.
our second of two previews for the HPW Television Title Tournament as Keith Cream takes on All Night Adam Reynolds. Both men start off with a knuckle lock. But Cream just lulls in Reynolds for a kick to the leg. Pulls him into a side headlock. Smooth reversal and a hip toss takedown. Reynolds connects with a kick to the face. Falls with a forearm to the back. Whip off the ropes and he connects with a heavy clothesline. Keith Cream retreats to the floor over to his fan section. At least his perceived fan section. Keith Cream known to use a few adverse tactics to get an advantage in a match, including gastrointestinal needs. Square off once again. Reynolds into the side headlock, wrenches it in. Cream escapes with the whip off the ropes, gets taken down with a shoulder tackle. Leapfrog by Keith Cream. Connects with a big kick to the face. With a, a throwback to his Rockette days. That may or may not be true. Cream able to strike you from any angle. Chokes Reynolds on the ropes. Really grinds it in. Keith Cream gets momentum off the ropes. Slides outside. Big kick to the face. Keith Cream keeps it up as he's known to do. Drops a leg across the back of the neck. Keith Cream in firm control. Sets up Reynolds. Split legged butt pliers. Taking a seat on Reynolds for the pin. It's only a two count. Come on, man, get up! Reynolds fires away. Reverse on the whip. Inverted atomic drop into the abdominal stretch. Keith Cream with a bit of chain wrestling, followed by a little love tap. Neck breaker by Keith Cream. Follows it up with a leg lariat to the face. Back of his boot connecting with the jaw of Adam Reynolds. Reynolds and referee Donald McRonald getting an eyeful on the cover. Which eye? I'm not saying that on television. Cream seeking the approval of the crowd as he hooks up Adam Reynolds once again for a suplex. Holds him up momentarily and drops him straight down to the mat. Pulls Reynolds back to his feet, hooks him up for another suplex. Reynolds able to escape, rolls through with the O'Connell roll, only a two count. Cream sweeps him off his feet. Setting Reynolds back down to the mat. Looks like he's going for a version of the Mexican surfboard. Setting Reynolds face and chest first into the mat. Goes into the rear naked choke. I swear that's the actual name of the move. Controlling Reynolds down on the mat, a wise strategy against a high flyer like Adam Reynolds. Reynolds able to fight out. Cream distracted and he gets caught with the handspring elbow as a result. This is another important match as the HPW Championship Committee decides on the brackets for the one night tournament. Every man's positioning in the tournament could seal their fate. Right now, Steve Amani coming in. Adam Reynolds connects with the backbreaker, but his rival, Steve Amani, on the outside. I don't think Reynolds has seen him yet as he heads to the apron. Springboard off the top connects with a missile drop kick. Reynolds goes into the cover. From the back. Amani with a distraction. Now Reynolds has seen him. 
Reynolds goes for the blackout. Cream able to avoid it. Shot to the back and hooks him up. Sweet dreams by Keith Cream. Sending down Adam Reynolds. Pinfall victory for Keith Cream. Keith Cream with a lot of momentum heading into the tournament with a victory here over Adam Reynolds. Thanks to the distraction of Steve Amani. Keith Cream in his own world. Fortunately for him, that world is victory land. That's all right, man. You tried. You can't help it. Adam Reynolds getting the appreciation of the crowd. Certainly has an issue with Steve Amani still lingering as we head into the HPW TV title tournament. 